Glad you came. Yeah, I'm always down for coffee, but what's really going on? Remember your first call? Uh, anaphylactic shock, seafood allergy. You remember the first lesson I taught you on that call? Yes, you taught me to listen. Okay, terrific. So, do that now. Sue and I were on the phone for a long time last night, trying to find a way to convince you of the difference you've made. Look, I really appreciate that you and Sue were talking. You never said that Sue and I were talking to each other. We're gonna get through this together. Nicole? Yeah? Wait, is, is Sam? He's okay. Oh, the police got there in time and I got home in one piece. Because of you. Hearing your voice, it, it kept me focused. Gave me hope. Your voice saved my life. Even though I didn't hear it, I was unconscious in labor. The earthquake had just hit and I, I was dying. We both were. I didn't know what to do. You said help wasn't coming. It should have been terrifying, but your voice was so calm and reassuring. And you, you got us help in a way I never could have expected. Same here. Because of you, I made a home for Christmas just because you said I would. Brandon, Seattle. My emergency was I was an overworked idiot, but you made sure they found me. You saved my life. Hey, you saved our marriage. I was on the edge, literally on the edge, just lost, and then I saw my Norman, and it's because you found a way to get him to me. You helped us find a way back to each other. I did. I probably would have hung up on you. I'm just being honest. Maddie has more patience than I ever did. Gloria. I thought that you were... Took a plea. And since we skipped the trial, I never got a chance to see you again. To tell you... I was wrong. About hanging up on people. About the dead end calls. The people that couldn't be saved. I always thought there was nothing I could do for them. But there was. I could have listened. Just been there for them at the end. So they didn't have to be alone. But is that enough? I mean, I'm there for them in the beginning. I'm there for them in the middle, but it still doesn't seem like it's enough to make a difference. It's not. Until it's your emergency. And then you... you realize that the middle is the scariest part. Because you don't just need help. You need hope. And that's what your voice is, Maddie. 